You know what? The tables are have fully turned. I love this dude. I, I, this is the moment right here, right now. This is the moment. I, I am I am a John Fetterman supporter. I'm switched. You know how sometimes you can be so against somebody and then all of a sudden there's there's something that, because I always said, Milo said it. Milo is like, the dude is likable. You want to give him a hug. These results don't match how people feel about Biden. They don't. Now, there are candidates um, uh, that are weird special cases, like Fetterman, who has inspired sympathy. And he's, he, he's just, I, kinda, I can't help but sort of like the guy. Um, it just brings out, you know, kind of a warm feeling. I just kind of want to see him succeed because I see him struggling. In, in the, I see a Fetterman Biden normal, ticket. Normal, normal response to seeing somebody um, struggling is to want to help them. You know, like I watched that debate and I, I wanted to vote for the guy. That's my bro now. It, I'm done. I'm not making fun of John Fetterman anymore. That's my dude. That's my bra right now. He's the coolest man in America. Who doesn't be honest with me right now? Put aside politics or anything else. Who doesn't like John Fetterman right now? The dude is dumb as a box of rocks in a way that makes him endearing. And hopefully he gets better because he wasn't always that way. But he's just like, I, I don't remember the characters. He's like in every in every sci-fi movie, there's a big, strong, you know, nine foot tall dumbass that is just the he steals the show. <laughs> and that's what John Fetterman is. I love the dude. I am not I'm not even being facetious. I it, maybe it's mind control. I don't know, but I'm not gonna lie. This is my bra right now. Right? This is awesome. He's going to be, I'm going to watch the show. It's me and G and Christian Bale circa 1830. I love this, the, this, this alternate universe that we're living in right now. Boy, it's a hell of a, it's a hell of a timeline. And, and there's Gazelle. It looks like she was photoshopped in the picture. I don't know why she looks, I, believe, I think that's her. Yeah, that's her right there. Look at that. That's a dope pose. He's got the hat. Oh, man, don't tell me this isn't dope. This is dope right here. Like, don't forget about that. He much less read a bill. <laughs> I want to I want to see John Fetterman read a bill. Forget about all that, that he can't read a bill. He can't read a stop sign. Just forget about that. Allegedly, just sometimes you have to go with your feeling and your gut instinct and your heart. I love this dude. When is this dropping? There will be no more John Fetterman hate on this channel. It's not allowed anymore. I'm gonna, on, on the specific topic of John Fetterman, I'm going to turn into an authoritarian left. If you, sit, if you criticize John Fetterman, it's a ban. I'm gonna turn into Dr. Carlin Borseco. If I hear you make fun of that thing on his neck, then you're banned. <laughs> if, you, if you say anything, if you say anything about his mental issues, you're banned. It's, it's fetterphobia, and it will not be tolerated on Middle MAGA <laughs> any longer. <laughs> uh, anything, anything that has to do with John Fetterman, I support. I support 100%. And, and at first when I saw this, I was like, this isn't real. This isn't good. But this is good. John Fetterman, he's everywhere. He is the American. I want to replace the American flag with that thing on his neck. That's what I want to do. And it will bring us together. Because I think no matter if you're on the left, the right, libertarian, you love this dude. Who, who doesn't love a senator who cannot count to 10? How can you not love that? And here you go. New York Times names John Fetterman among the most stylish. <laughs> this is my nigga right here. You, you, you run for Senate and you don't take a shower for like six months. That's G right there. That's next level. That shouldn't be clowned. So I, I retract everything negative I said about this, bro. That's next level. If you're in the Senate and you haven't take a sh taken a shower in a year, you are bruh man. And I mean like you should be celebrated. You are the king of all chads. 
This is the new Chad meme right here. He has, he's one of the most powerful people in our country. And he hasn't brushed his teeth in two years. <laughs> and when I'm laughing, I'm laughing with him, not at him. That's not something that we tolerate on this channel anymore. <laughs> New York Times. The New York Times has made <laughs> Pennsylvania's U.S. Senate elect John Fetterman among 2022's most stylish people. <laughs> The publication, and I don't support, the publication was promptly mocked for this. Why? Have you seen Ye? Ye is a, he's a fashion designer. He's walking around with a ski mask on his face. John Fetterman is above that. He never, well, he covered up the thing on his neck until, I don't know what happened. One day he kind of let it go. And then everybody was like, whoa, what the hell is that? So you can kind of make it a reveal. Of course he's one of the most stylish. The New York Times describes those on its 93 most stylish people list as equal parts stylish and styles-ish. <laughs> does that mean styles shit? What does that mean? <laughs> Regardless the fact that the newspaper named Fetterman, who it proclaimed, is going to bring Carhartt to the Capitol. <laughs> I, if I'm Carhartt, I'm paying him whatever, blank check. You're the new spokesperson, blank check. And, and when you're in the Senate, okay, so I'm, I'm going to do this with one qualification. When John Fetterman is in the Senate, he has to wear those dirty-ass sweaters. That You have to be committed to your style. I don't want to see a suit. I don't want to see a button-up. I want him to continue. Do, don't take any more showers, allegedly. Don't wash up. Don't brush your teeth. Don't go to the doctor. Be that true bra man. Like bruh man from Martin, how he climbed through the window. But a brother was hungry, and y'all ain't have no more sandwiches. <laughs> this is the worst. Oh! I want, I want to see Fetterman climb through the window of the center offices and come down. And you know he can't speak, so you know he'll he'll say. Uh, you know, you, I, we're like Groot, we're like, I am Groot. And then I, then somebody else will speak for him. And then he will yield his time to somebody who can speak. <laughs> I love this dude. Fetterman himself added, what a totally normal year it's been for me. The New York Post reports how much of the includility of of Frederman's inclusion on the list stems from the fact that his attire of choice typically consists of a hoodie and shorts, the latter of which he wears no matter the weather. <laughs> I've, dressed, I've dressed nicer to paint my house. <laughs> That's, <all I've> <laughs> That's my nigga. That's no more. No more. No more hate. I'm being serious. I, no more hate on that dude. I love that dude, man. That dude is, if you know how football teams have a mascot, he is the mascot of our country, not Brandon, not anybody else. And and I fully, he should run for president. He really should. He really should run for president. Love that guy. I'm going to check their comments just to make sure nobody needs to get banned. Don't lie. Don't lie. Who's that? The lead elite? Friend of show, don't lie. He said, I can never like the man. No, you're right. We have to love him. He is, so let me, let me tell you this. Let's see if we can agree on this, the lead elite. There's no person in this country that represents where we are better than John Fetterman. Please, no one. No one represents the state of our nation. That's why I have the blackout heart. Is No one represents that better than John Fetterman. You know what I might do? I might do a profile pic of Fetterman. This is for all love. I might do a profile pic of John Fetterman on a shirt with the lump and just make it a profile with a shadow. So you see, you'll see his face. You'll see his, it, you won't even know it's Fetterman. It'll be all blacked out. And then like on the neck, you'll see like a little lump. <laughs> and, then, and then I'll put the American flag in the lump and I'll be like, that's America. That's the country that I love. <laughs> 2022 is wild, yo. 2022 is, man, 2022 is wild.